I left it paused because I was worried. But usually I will actually leave it idle when I just get up for a moment. I had it once where I had my colony so stabilized that I actually went for went grocery shopping for like an hour and then came back and it was fine. It was it's only this right here that's the problem. I think at this point I've got everything else relatively stabilized. This here's just the problem. Um, and speaking of, I'm gonna make a medicine a triage cot just in case. I'm realizing halfway through shopping the panic came once you shop. I did it actually intentionally. I um I did a hard save before I went out. And then I went, it was like either shopping or for like an, a walk for an hour. And then I came back and everything was fine. I don't know, Tichil, do you remember a game called Creatures? Like Creatures 1, 2, and 3? They were my real first kind of foray into gaming. Um, like Norns, Grendels, Ettens. Um, they were my first foray really into gaming as a kid, like into serious gaming. And there was something that people um, did with them called Wolfling Runs. Where you would essentially, because there was like actual like simplified genetics and everything, they would breed and you know what, like mutate as they bred, they would learn words and all that kind of stuff, and then they could teach each other words. So the whole idea with a wolfling run was you would like, and they would like learn what to eat and what not to eat. It was actually a really freaking cool game. And I would love to find something like it again. Um, how hurt are you guys? I would love to find something like it again. Um, but yeah, there's something called a wolfling run, where you would essentially, to various levels of setting things up, so in some cases, you just dumped, like, two of each gender into the world, and then just let it go. Um, in other cases, you would, you know, like, teach them a little bit, get a little bit of a stock going, and then let it go. But, like, it was actually a thing. Get him in there. They're not gonna save him, are they? I don't... Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fuck's sake, come on. Not acceptable. <laughs> so yeah, that was, um, I essentially do, I do that here, but after I get ac everything actually kind of set up. sometimes. Usually not for, like, super long. Well, at least I haven't done it for super long yet. But. Hi, penguin. I know it's hot. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah? I'll take a look. Yeah, I see it, I see it. Yep, that, that's the game. What? See, no, because Spore is different. 
Spore is completely different. I had Spore. Darwin Pond, maybe? Like, I don't think I've ever seen another game like Creatures that's essentially just a life simulator. Not many, anyways. I think I have one that's like, uh, kind of like pixel like graphics. Okay, civilization is nothing like creatures. Are you kidding me? <laughs> now they're just stretching. <laughs> Artificial life, real evolution, maybe, but I have to look into it more. Black and white um, was one that I kind of had in mind as well, but it's still a lot, quite a bit different. I have a cat here, by the way. There's a few maybes on the list. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I mean. You know what I still have? I still have my Creatures 3 CD. <laughs> I wonder if it would still be playable. Meow. Really? This belt will set this all down to like five. Does GOG have a version? I know, but I would have to buy it again on GOG. I don't know, let me take a look. I really wish that if you owned a game CD, you could just put the key into Steam or GOG and then get a digital, like, updated copy of the game. Um, it looks like they have a few of them. Okay, we're gonna dump this down. Creatures Exodus. Okay, Creatures Exodus is essentially a remake of Creatures 3 and the the expansion docking station. I, th I think it was like free DLC, the docking station DLC. It's only like seven bucks. Oh god, theme park! That's the one with the, like, the Halloween world and the dinosaur world and stuff, right? I freaking love that game. Like, I would kill for that game again. Shit. Okay. 
Who's this? This is... Yes, she isn't coming down. Go, 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 go! Hopefully help warm things up at least a little bit. I had the PC version. So I again oh, shit. I have a, the original Zoo Tycoon and both of the expansion packs on disc version. Um I have Creatures 2. No, sorry. I have black and white 2, I believe. On disc version. Um like I have a bunch. Two point hospitals by the same team. I think I have that one. I think. It was it done in the humble at some point, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Penguin. So weird, Penguin. I'm gonna keep that in mind that, um... Okay, wait, is this a remake of two? Or one? Okay, so it's essentially... Albion Years is essentially one and two remade. And then Village was more of a kid-friendly one. Okay, Tichil. Okay. You have given me something to look towards. Albion is one creatures one and two remade and combined into one game. And then the other one, um is Creatures 3 and the, I think it was free DLC. So yeah, like there's actual genetics, both in terms of like plants and the animals and stuff, and like everything breeds and spreads and I'm definitely gonna have to keep that in mind. I got you interested in checking it out too. <laughs> Did you that me, me and me and Mux were talking yesterday about how we sometimes see people who um you know they're they're into streaming, but a lot of times I just see I'm gonna leave all names out of this and stuff, but 
But, like, I see so many posts on Twitter and stuff about people who stream, who, like, get all frustrated about, you know, like, oh, well, you say your program's open to all content creators, but I'm small, so you didn't pick me. And it's like, it has nothing to do with that. Like, you gotta sell yourself. Which had me thinking, I was like, what I should do is, when I'm ready to start applying for stuff like that, I need to put out a form for all of you guys <laughs> uh, to anonymously give, like, testimonies of all of the times I have made you play or purchase games. <laughs> Even if they're just small games, because... Like, I'm small, but I don't know. I guess I make things sound fun, I suppose. At the other end, you have top streamers who basically jump on the flavor of the month games and move on after three days. Well, and it's like, I, I have picked up some games that we've played on release and that kind of thing, right? But they're usually games that I'm still... I got you back into Warframe. <laughs> like, they're usually games that I still had, like, s either some kind of, like, brutal honesty with you guys here. Sometimes I do play games because I do expect that they're going to be big, that there's going to be people that are looking to see whether they're worth playing, um, and that kind of thing, right? They're not my biggest view counts, to be honest. Like, they're not my biggest view counts. But yeah, like, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it, it's just kind of a funny thought that we keep having, and that, you know, I haven't even honestly bothered trying to pitch myself to any developers or publishers or anything yet, because the fact is, like, I mean, who am I? <laughs> you know? I'm, I am, I am tiny, I can't stream much unless I get laid off. <laughs> But, I mean, when the time comes, I know how I'm going to do it. You fall two new people when you're Replicant launch, one of which was Kimaraki, who you mentioned on Discord. Yeah, I'm going to check them out sometime to chill. But yeah, no, that's kind of what I mean, is, like, a lot of people don't think about, you know, how do you sell yourself? What are you doing to sell yourself? And so that was kind of like the one thing that like I thought about that I need to do it when I'm ready because I'm small but you guys are so supportive of me and I love it like so much. <laughs> my sub count is like insanely high compared to what people would probably think because of my average viewers um so well and i mean yeah it's not just the hours streaming for sure hi come here so i mean These people who don't, uh, or what, uh, who don't, what do they expect? Yeah. Well, no, and that's kind of another reason why I'm asking for, um, streamer recommendations is because I do want to network more, but my time is so limited. Like, I know that I could arguably stream less and do more behind the scenes and stuff, but I mean, this is the part that I like, so... Okay, go, go, go. This should hopefully be full now. And not get eaten by this water. It should not get eaten by water. Do 
you've seen networking work really well. Yeah, and that's kind of my, I mean, I'm socially awkward to begin with, so I don't consider myself good at that stuff. Um, plus, again, the time for it is, like, I just, I, I don't have as much as I would want, you know? Especially when I'm working, you know? It's kind of hard working 40 hours a week, plus, uh trying to stream at least 20 and then also taking care of you know an apartment and all that fun stuff so <laughs> but i don't even necessarily want to say but you know I, I i do what i can i try and where i'm not able to do that as much i try to just kind of i don't know Hey guys, moment of truth as soon as this population gets high. Okay, no moment of truth yet. We gotta make some more hatches in here. But yeah, no, I mean. Am I gonna say that I'm, you know, any better than any, like, obviously I'm not better than anybody else, and I'm not that great, but, um, I don't, that, that's a terrible way to put it, like, I, I am a small person who doesn't necessarily know much more than anybody else. I just... I don't know. I guess I just take it seriously, I guess? I have... Almost since the time that I decided that I really enjoyed doing this, I've taken it like a business. So... time, you know, like, I don't expect anything, right? It would be amazing if after I move, I could do this full time, and this could just be my thing. But, I mean, it'll be what it'll be. Pretty much all there is to it. Well, that, yeah. Actually, to chill, the funny thing was, is, <laughs> I was like, so... If 80% of my PS5 acquisition was for streaming, does that mean I could declare my PS5 on my taxes? <laughs> it's a business expense, right? <laughs> I probably could. <laughs> I mean, at the very least, if I had, you know, kept receipts and bothered with it and stuff, you know, like, I've got the the mic, the stream deck, the capture card, the camera, like, fuck, I've spent so much on my streaming, to be honest. But even outside of, like, the money itself, um, you know, I mean, you put a lot of thought into it, right? Like... We're making our bot. We're making TV Nightbot. Um, uh, we're making TV Nightbots. Um, you know, just kind of. I've done, like, all of my own artwork and everything. Tried to make everything look somewhat professional and good, I guess. But still me. So. Okay, we need 
to get a pump here. So I'm gonna put a pump here. I'm gonna do, you are so short on metal. Okay, wait, no, I don't wanna do it like that. Cause I wanna have a, I need more metal. We have no metal here. This will start creating some iron though. Screw it, I'm just gonna get rid of this the air can get out. Um, I wanna see this work. of water so that it doesn't flood when this opens up again. this from flooding out. The important thing is that this in theory does work. We've got an automated slaughterhouse. Fully automated. I just have to figure out this water issue to stop it from overflowing when the door opens. A delay on the door. A delay on the door. Automation. Lower these filters too.
can be cool. This can be cool. Let's not count eggs, but then lower this to five. There we go, we've got it up to above freezing by the time it actually hits our base. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, sulfur is still our big problem. We need this to kick in. Four more cycles. I want to do what? I could do this. Like, we could do this a lot easier. I could just do this. Deconstruct all of this. in here and then there's a lot of radiation in here from the Cooling system to chill. It's actually working. I don't know how good it'll work once this is actually going, but. off so no water will get in no more water will get in unless I decide to change it and put more water in. Use polluted water because it can get colder before it freezes. These plants are like one of only like a few ways to actually create cold so to speak. Ideally this would be radiant pipes or at least some of them would be but they cost metal, which is... I'm kind of running low on everywhere. This is going to allow manual use, and we are going to put... Phosphorite in there.
Slickster got stuck. So this is potentially bad, because we're out of that water. all of this sulfur. Two more cycles and then that should kick in. need to make a door that just randomly opens when there's too many in here so that they wander off. Better head off. Yeah, no worries, Chill. Thanks for hanging out. I mean, I'm gonna be probably going the regular times. I might take the afternoon off, but I don't know yet. But if not, I'll probably be back with hopefully some Nautica this afternoon. Let's make sure this is still enough water to drown the hatches. Thank you. 
start getting um, research going as well. We're going to start working on researching everything that we can at this point. Um, just as a start. So that we can work up and start doing space stuff. should now be above freezing, but... I want to see it erupt because I want to make sure that it's actually erupting. Where are we at? Where are we at? 1.1 cycle. They legit picked up the phosphorite and put it back in there so that it would dump back to where it was. at least automated. I'm gonna come back to here and stop sending read fiber for now. Did I already? Some grapefruit. Preserve. Thank you. 
480, and how much is on this circuit right now? That would tip me just over. But we don't do this all the time, and most of this stuff is just temporary stuff, so, like, very short term. is the current issue. To not count the eggs. Because if we count the eggs, then... Research going. I'm legit just gonna keep going down the line unless there's something specific we want. I'm just gonna keep going down the line to try and get everything up to the point that we can. All this is including our home daddy. I'm almost debating sending some of this clean water over to the Huge 
mine to do for a temporary thing, though. But it might not even be that temporary because this is not pumping up too much. So. metal though for those. Okay. Just make a bunch. energy do we have on this line? A lot. Okay. Um. Ah! Okay. I'm so excited, actually, by that. Okay, I'm gonna do a hard save really quick, and then I'm gonna be right back, everybody, so hold tight. I'm gonna let it go while I'm go going, so hopefully nothing explodes. But, things are looking pretty good. Um. Like, I'm not too concerned about this. This will get fixed. I'll be right back. 